fucking make happen. Stop watching one guy wrap up and everyone else watching. Swarm to the goddamn ball. You understand? It's coach. We've been practicing all week, and I'm watching at least five guys stand there with their thumb up their ass. Swarm to the ball. You understand? Coach. Everyone understand. If they're tired, tell us. We'll get someone else who want to go in. But that shouldn't be an excuse. Everyone swarm to every goddamn tackle. You understand? It's coach. Defensive line. Linebacker. All they're doing is running up our fucking guy. It's not anything tricky. Fill a gap. Make a tackle. It's not that hard. They're not doing anything special, but they're having more heart. They're kicking our ass out the front. Half of heart. Make a tackle. Offensive line. We got to fix our shit. I don't know what the hell happened. They obviously are better because we ran all over their ass in the first quarter. And all of a sudden, you guys decided to be little fucking girls. Are we girls? Are we fucking linemen? Linemen. Then show me the second half. I don't care how many people they send. They're not better than us. Block them. Do you understand? Coach. Alex, where are you at? Right here, you gotta get rid of the fucking ball, man. I swear to God. I will take interceptions all day as long as you're throwing the ball downfield. But I can't have you taking fucking saps on a goddamn rollout, and I can't have you throwing shitty passes when the guys are wide open. You understand? Make some plays. You're the goddamn quarterback. This is the last game. You gotta fucking make, make a step up at some point. You understand? We are gonna. It's backwards. That's what happens. We get a fucking zero. You understand? You gotta lead us. Tenny, where are you at? Yeah, I'm calling you out. You wanted the ball all fucking week year long. I'm finally getting the ball. Stop running like a girl. Hit the goddamn holes. You understand? They're there, but you're fucking dancing. Get through the hole. Jesus Christ. Look, this is what we got, guys. It's either time to step up or get the hell out of here. If you guys don't want to play with another half, tell me. I'll go tell them because I'm happy to get on the bus and go back home so we're not getting home at 9 o'clock. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Then fucking show me this app, you understand? I know you guys are better. They're not better than you guys. You guys need to step it up, you understand? Let's go fucking take it to them, alright? We told the kids they'd buy them food if they won, and we did. Never did. What are you doing, coach? What are you, what are you doing? Still the football in the kid's head. Nothing good comes from talking to kids like he did. That was what I had to deal with. That was my whole first year coaching. I had to listen to that guy. I tried to tell the, the my coach. I tried to tell the AD. Called the principal, she never called me back. People told me to walk away. Just let it go, forget about it, don't worry about it. You don't have any kids that go there. You're not a, on, you're not a teacher in, on the school board. Just just walk away. And I said, not chance. So I'm Tim Knapper. I had to deal with that last year. I'm not gonna deal with it anymore. It's been almost a year and it's unacceptable. There's no way to talk to any kids as you can tell by the tape that goes on every day. It wasn't like a specific speech or a certain time that was just random and I'm tired of it now there's a lot of people that are trying to educate the coaches send them to certain classes on how to manage this it's it, it's not that you have to teach the kids when they're young to be confident you got to teach them how to hustle work bust ass 
because when it all comes around, those kids become coaches. I like to dedicate this to my JV football coach, high school, my JV baseball coach, Coach Ron Morgan. Coach, I appreciate everything you've done. You were one amazing guy, and you never made me feel like this coach that's going on before in this video. So thank you very much, and I know all my friends think about you the same. Thanks for all you do, have done, and continue to do. You're the man. Can you please comment on who your favorite coach is? Give a little bit of explanation. This has to be known. Easy money. 25 years ago, I was refereeing a basketball game at a gym in Canyonside, Mira Mesa. Watching this one kid play, and the dad was yelling at the kid, and the kid had no idea what he was doing, but the dad kept yelling. After the game, I saw the dad yelling at the kid. The kid was crying, and I thought to myself, what the? As the gym was clearing out, I was like, how can I help? How can I change this? This is bull crap. The dad had no idea what he was talking about. The kid didn't know what he was doing. The coach obviously didn't know. How can I streamline this, combine it, weave it all together, and have people really pay attention? I spent a lot of time in school using those little yellow books, AKA Cliff Notes. A collection of a whole bunch of information that's streamlined and given to everybody in a real simplistic way. So that day, Nappy Notes was launched. Nappy Notes for basketball, Nappy Notes for baseball, Nappy Notes for football, Nappy Notes for love, the secret sauce. High school here, first time coaching high school football. And I was excited. I was drawing up ways to talk to kids in all different angles about the same thing. It wasn't my way, it was how can I reach them? I tried to put in extra time, I tried to volunteer, I tried to get to know the system, I tried to help with everything. But for some reason, nobody wanted to share. Nobody wanted to help. I think everybody thought their job was in jeopardy. And to coach with, if you want to even call him a coach, all he did was yell, joke around, make fun of, name call, whine, complain, yell, make fun of, isolate, make fun of, whine, cuss, that's it. And halfway through the season, I, I tried to bring this up to the head coach, my friend, and I was told to deal with it, handle it, grown man, deal with it. You're talking about a guy that's got a proven track record of wins. He's also coached with them for I don't know how many years prior. Like I was doing something wrong by letting my friend know like this is going on. But it's my first year so I decided let me take a step back and see if it's me. Which I did. I told him, I said, after this, at the end of the school year, let's ask the kids who's their favorite coaches. And he laughed at me and said, it's not about the kids, it's about the coaching staff. Huh? Again, I was a little confused, but let me take a step back. The last game of the year, the volunteering sideline who does the chains wanted to get in a fight with the head coach because they couldn't stand the way that he was talking to the children. Not even his team, just the kids in general. I tried to point this out again to my friend who was on the sidelines. I said, exactly what I'm talking about right there. 
and I got the stinky eye. And he, he said, there's the door. And there's the door. And I looked at the scoreboard and I thought, there's only 10 minutes left in this season and you're telling me there's the door? Okay. Well, I brought my camera. If you know me, and my film has been out since 10th grade, 8th grade. I'm the guy that has the camera out. I've been trying to break down film study, footwork during practice. And part of me, I just enjoy it. breaking down and then when you're pushed you gotta put I enjoy going back and looking at it and down the road people have thanked me people that don't want to be filmed thank me later for being filmed so I, I know where the rewards are it's, it's, it's just it's wrong and I'm, I'm I try to tell people I try to address it I tried to get help from the coach, I tried to get help from the AD. I tried to call the principal, she wouldn't call me back. Everybody wants me to just turn my back and walk away. I don't have kids in, in the school district. I don't have kids at all. I don't work for the school. I could just turn away and do nothing. I could just turn away and do nothing. Not a chance. I'm not gonna drop it. That coach is gonna have to get his ass out of there. And I need your help. I need for you to comment. What do you think about bully coaches? Listen to the conversation. Listen to the tape. Would you want your kid, your 14 year old boy, having this guy be the leader, the mentor? The purpose of this channel is to build confidence in the youth of tomorrow. Using nappy notes as a resource and tool, when I'm done, you'll be, damn, that was pretty cool. YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat is a must. Social media engagement is a plus. The more you know, the more you'll play. Fundamentally sounds what you bring every day. So know the small things, you'll get playing time. I'm nappy notes, so listen to my rhyme. The goal is to have fun, enjoy being a kid. This is what I'm doing, this is what I did.